guys, welcome to our Baby Rhyme story time here at the Southern Pines Public Library. We miss seeing all of your smiling faces. Hopefully everyone is staying safe and healthy. Um, this is our story time meant for our little one's birth to two. So if you are watching this with your little one, you're welcome to have them on your lap. Use their hands and feet, lift them up, snuggle them. Or if you're watching this with um, an older toddler, you uh, can encourage them to take a stuffed animal and they can do the rhymes with the stuffed animal in their lap. Um, we'll say everything twice. If you know it the first time, please join in. Not that I can hear you, but I'm just used to saying that over and over again. I also won't go over the rules. So you guys just have fun with this. Um, the most important thing that you can do for your little one is just positive physical touch, just loving on them. So I hope you enjoy um, our baby rhyme story time. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on her very fine gander. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on her very fine gander. All right, now we have that goosey goosey gander. Oh no, there we go. Goosey, goosey gander, where do you wander? Upstairs, downstairs, and in my lady's chambers. Goosey, goosey gander, where do you wander? Upstairs, downstairs, and in my lady's chambers. Okay, can you guys show me your fists? Those are gonna be our two little dicky birds. And instead of fast and slow, sometimes, I'm sorry, instead of soft and loud, you can also do um, fast and slow if you want to change it up using just different opposites like big or little. Um, you're welcome to change it up at home as well. Two little dicky birds sitting on a cloud. One name soft, the other name loud. Fly away soft, fly away loud. Come back soft, come back loud. Two little dicky birds sitting on a cloud. One name soft, the other name loud. Fly away soft, fly away loud. Come back soft, come back loud. Very nice. Okay, now we're gonna hit the floor together. We hit the floor together, we hit the floor together, we hit the floor together because it's fun to do. We clap our hands together, we clap our hands together, we clap our hands together because it's fun to do. We sway from side to side, we sway from side to side, we sway from side to side because it's fun to do. We nod our heads together, we nod our heads together, we nod our heads together because it's fun to do. We say hello together, we say hello together, we say hello together because it's fun to do. All right, now it's time for our story. Good night, good night construction site. And I am actually going to pull the chair up so you guys can see the pictures a little bit better. Good night, good night construction site by Sherry Rinker and Tom Lichtenheld. Down in the big construction site, the tough trucks work with all their might to build a building, make a road, to get the job done load by load. Look at all of those different construction machines. Ah. The sun has set, the work is done. It's time for trucks to end their fun. Soon, one by one, they'll go to bed to yawn and rest their sleepy heads. They wake up to another day of rough and tough construction play. Working hard to help his team, crane truck raises one last beam. Reaching, stretching, lifting high, he swings the beam into the sky. He'll set it down right on its mark, then off to bed, it's almost dark. He slowly folds his boom back in, and then with one last sleepy grin, he tucks himself in nice and tight, <sighs> then cuddles up and says good night. Shh. 
Good night, crane truck. Good night. Spinning, churning all day long, some mint mixer sings his whirly song. Now, oh, he's weary and so dizzy from all the fun that keeps him busy. With one last spin, he pours the load and now he's ready to leave the road. He takes a bath and gets shiny bright. He pulls up his chute and turns off his light. He cuts his engine, slows his drum, and dreams sweet dreams of twirly fun. Shh, good night, cement mixer. Good night. Dump truck loves to work and haul. He carries loads both big and small. He moves the dirt from place to place, then dumps it with a happy face. One final load spills on the heap. Crunch! Now dump truck's tired and wants to sleep. He lowers his bed. He locks his gate. He rests his wheels. It's getting late. He dims his light, then shuts his doors, and soon his engine slows to snores. Shh! Good night, dump truck. Good night. Pushing with his mighty blade, Bulldozer works to smooth the grade. He clears the way to level ground and fills the air with thunderous sound. No one's as tough and strong as he, but now he's sleepy as can be. He puffs some smoke out of his stack, turns off his engine, stops his track. He curls into his soft dirt bed and dreams of busy days ahead. Shh, good night, bulldozer. Good night. Scooping gravel, dirt, and sand, es excavator shapes the land. He digs and lifts throughout the day. Oh, but now it's time to end his play. A few more holes to dig and soon he'll roll to bed beneath the moon. He twirls upon his bumpy track. Pulls his boom, stretches his back. He sets his scoop down on the ground and snuggles up without a sound. Shh. Good night, excavator. Good night. These big, big trucks, so tough and loud. They work so hard, so rough, so proud. Tomorrow is another day, another chance to work and play. Turn off your engine, stop your tracks, relax your wheels, your stacks and backs. No more huffing and puffing, team. It's time to rest your head and dream. Construction site all tucked in tight. The day is done. Turn off the light. Great work today. Now, shh, good night. The end. Uh, good job listening. All right, now we're going to head back and we're going to do some more rhymes. Okie dokie. Now we are going to sing The More We Read Together. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Excellent job. 
All right, are you guys ready for some body rhymes? So we're gonna point out different parts of our little ones and we're gonna start with our thumbs. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you this morning? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you this morning? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. All right, now we're gonna open and shut them. We need those hands again. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Now we've got I Winker and Tom Tinker. I Winker, Tom Tinker, nose smeller, mouth eater, chin chomper, chin chomper, chin chomper, belly womper, big tickle on those bellies. I Winker, Tom Tinker, nose smeller, mouth eater, Chin chomper, chin chomper, chin chomper, belly womper. Okay, how about we bounce now? So if you're sitting on the floor with your little one, you can stick your legs out and you can use them. Um, we can lift them up. We're gonna lean from side to side in some of the rhymes, so just follow along. Seesaw, scare it down. This is the way to London town. One knee up, the other knee down. This is the way to London town. Seesaw, scare it down. This is the way to London town. One knee up, the other knee down. This is the way to London town. All right, now there's mother and father and Uncle John. Mother and father and Uncle John went to town one by one. Mother fell off and father fell off. But Uncle John rode on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Mother and father and Uncle John went to town one by one. Mother fell off and father fell off. But Uncle John rode on and on and on and on and on and on. All right, how about the Grand Old Duke of York? So if you want a nice little core workout, you can lift your little one as we go up and down the mountain. Are you ready? The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up the mountain and he marched them down again. And when they're up, they're up. And when they're down, they're down. And when they're only halfway up, they're neither up nor down. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up the mountain and he marched them down again. And when they're up, they're up. And when they're down, they're down. And when they're only halfway up, they're neither up nor down. Great job, you guys. All right, now we would normally hit our names on the drum, but there's just stuffed animals here. So I am going to invite you to hit your name out. You can tap it on the ground if you want to clap the syllables in your name out. Um, if you want to get a pot and spoon, um, it's a great way for your little one to hear the smaller parts and the smaller sounds in words, which is called phonological awareness. Um, it's a great preliteracy skill. So I will clap Kristen because I've got two syllables in my name. So you can do this outside of clapping your name. You can go outside. If you're doing a nature walk, you can clap out the syllables and things. 
uh, that you see outside or whatever is around the room. So now we are going to make some of the sounds that the animals make. And I used this book <clears throat> already to make some animal sounds, but I liked it so much I'm going to use it again um, because I just think it's such a fun book because it's a triangle. We just got this in the library. And uh, this is a great um, example of how to use a book in a way that doesn't actually read any of the words. It just uses the pictures. So as you guys are going through your book collection, probably tired of reading the same words over and over, start asking questions like, what color is the dog? Asking open-ended questions will help build your little one's vocabulary and also helps them um, understand conversation, the ask and response part of it. So it's a really great skill. So here we go. I, I probably should scoot up a little bit. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a monkey along the way. What do you think that monkey did say? So traditionally we would say, ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. But this monkey says, whoop, whoop, and it's raising the roof. So, whoop, whoop. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a frog along the way. What do you think that frog did say? Can you go ribbit? Ribbit, ribbit, or this frog says croak. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a bee along the way. What do you think that bee did say? Bzz, bzz. Bonus, what color is the bee? All right. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a <gasps> alligator along the way. What do you think that alligator did say? Chomp, 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 snap, snap. And lastly, I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a bear along the way. What do you think that bear did say? Can you make a snoring sound? Because it's a sleeping bear. But if he was awake, the bear would probably go roar. All right, you guys. Now we are going to sing a rhyme about a fish. But you're going to count to 10 first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I threw him back again. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I threw him back again. All right, now it is time to twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. So great. Normally, we would do Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jumps over the candlestick. But since no one's here to jump over the candlestick, I invite you guys to jump over a candlestick or a cup, or you can use your imagination and jump over anything you want, a stuffed animal at home. Um, and you can practice different kinds of jumps. You can jump as many times as you want. We don't have to take turns since we don't have multiple little ones here. So have fun jumping over that candlestick. Now it's time to kick. Can you kick with two feet, two feet, two feet? Can you kick with two feet? Kick, 
kick, kick. Can you nod with one head? One head, one head. Can you nod with one head? Nod, nod, nod. Can you sway from side to side, side to side, side to side? Can you sway from side to side? Sway, sway, sway. Can you kiss with two lips, two lips, two lips? Can you kiss with two lips? Can you say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye? Can you say goodbye, 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 goodbye? Thank you guys so much for singing along. We hope to see you all soon and just stay tuned for when we are able to reopen the library to the public. Bye guys.